Hi, I'm David H. I manage my illness, diabetes with my EKG. The information I share is for informational purposes only and is not intended as health or medical advice. Please consult your physician regarding questions you may have about your health objectives. Okay, today I'm sort of mad. Well, I'm not really mad, just a little perturbed. Because back in May, well, it was May, June, in that time frame, you know, I thought, okay, we can get back to uh, football. I can go to a couple of games. If you've been following along, I guess you saw some of my backgrounds, what have you. I have a Florida Gator sign. So I am a Florida Gator alum, Florida Gator fan. I bleed orange and blue, yada, yada, yada. So anyway, I had, um, I had planned on going to um, a couple of the football games. Uh, basically, you know, at Florida, their stadium holds 90,000 plus. I guess the first shoe that dropped, um, the whole pandemic of the unvaccinated. Yeah, that's what's going on now. This is the pandemic of the uh, unvaccinated. And then the second shoe that dropped is the um, governor, but I use that term lightly um, for Florida, um, decided no public facility, no facility, I think. Uh, those of you from Florida know the exact rule, but from what I'm hearing, uh, you can't require a mask and you can't require a vaccination uh, for any um, event. So to make a long story short, um, yeah, they're having the football games. It's fully open, but no one is wearing a mask. No one has to be vaccinated. Well, no one has to wear a mask, and uh, no one has to be vaccinated. It's not a requirement. And basically, um, as you as you know, uh, with me, I, I guess I am a diabetic, even though I manage my illness, um, basically, uh, with lifestyle changes. Just don't feel comfortable being in that environment. I, I really don't. And I think the leadership um, in Florida, really, is doing the citizens a disjustice. But that's not what I came here to talk about Florida leadership, what have you. Um, everyone has their um, own opinion, but what I did want to talk about is being vaccinated, really. Uh, this is the pandemic of the unvaccinated, is, being, is to be vaccinated. You know, unfortunately, I guess within my circle, I'm beginning to see people on the outside of my circle. I'm beginning to see some people on the outside of my circle uh, pass from uh, COVID. You know, during the height of um, COVID, I didn't know of anyone. I think maybe I knew one person um, that had passed, but now, unfortunately, since this is the um, pandemic of the unvaccinated, I've come to know of several people um, that have passed. And really, uh, that's a shame. And to make a long story um, short, one of my friends told me I say that too much. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, to make a long story short, yeah, we always had anti-vaxxers. Um, I think it had a lot to do with um, autism and kids, what have you. That segment of people has always been out there. Um, but it was never really about politics. Actually, if you go in and research a little bit, back during that time, it was almost a 50-50 divide of uh, conservatives versus liberals, Democrat versus Republicans, um, who were anti-vaxxers. And I think the percentage of the population was very uh, minute. Um, it was a little less than uh, 1% that uh, were anti-vaxxers. But what has happened since um, 2019, uh, 2020, 2019-2020, um, politics have come into play with this vaccine. Um, it really has, and this is, has nothing to do with um, politics. COVID, is, COVID does not discriminate. Um, it's taking um, everyone out, black, white, green, purple, in this country it has become a political issue and it has no reason no there's no reason at all for this to be a political issue it's really about um, health I just did a little Google search on some of the people that are out here uh, showing up at these school board meetings county board meetings or what have you uh, preaching this anti-vax anti-mask on rhetoric I just want to show you just so you just see how much uh, sense this doesn't make. <laughs> All right, the first one, the first one is this lady, I got to look at my, my paper here. This first one is this lady at a school board meeting in Kansas. There is zero evidence that COVID-19 exists in the world. PCR tests are recalled. This is a pandemic. Fake virus, bioweapon jab. Fake president. Trump won. See what I mean? 
It's about politics. She's at a school board meeting. I don't know what the heck she was talking about, where she got her info from. Um, we all know it's, it's full of lies. But at the end of the day, <laughs> as she closed things out, but it was about politics. And that was out in Kansas. Now, the next one I want to show you is, um, I forgot what the, um, anchor, what the um, anchor's name may have been someone on Trevor Noah's show. show. Um, this was in New York City. Yeah, they got kooks in New York, in New York City. It's not just a um, southern, uh, midwestern thing. Um, hey, it's in New York City, too. Uh, let's take a listen to that. Uh, and the vaccine is not approved by the FDA. I don't know what's in that. Women are miscarrying. People are having their DNAs wiped out. What? What do you mean? Like completely like, wiped out? Yeah. They're telling women that it's okay for you to get the vaccine. What does it mean their DNA is wiped out? Like their, their immunity. Their immunity is, is getting wiped out. Because I was saying like COVID wiped out 600,000 DNAs. Yes, of course. You yeah. know? Actually, some people have died from the vaccine. Don't believe me. Go to the media. Go to the Google or... Uh, uh, some people have died from COVID. Yes. So many more than from the vaccine. One thing with me, I try not to argue facts. <laughs> One thing with me, I try not to argue facts. <laughs> hey, you can't make this stuff up. You can't make it up. All right. There's one last guy I want to show you. Um, he was in, oh, let me get my paper again. Uh, he was at a board, a county board meeting in San Diego, out in California. Uh, let, let's, let's see here. Your children and your children's children will be subjugated. They will be asked, how many vaccines have you had? Have you been a good little Nazi? Hey, Fauci! Hey, Fauci! Hey, that dude scared me. <laughs> but all joking aside, uh, uh, really, I know you guys have been following along. I know those of you you've been trying to uh, manage your health, have a healthy lifestyle. I know you, my followers, uh, you better than that. You know, those are the people you are agreeing with if you're anti-vaxxer. You're agreeing with them. And I know you guys are uh, better than that, right? Um, right. All right, so my, my plan is uh, hopefully you guys heard this message. Pass it along. Uh, yeah, don't forget to um, subscribe, like, share, and really pass it along. Hey, because, bro, I have tickets to the Florida Georgia football game in October. And I want to go to that. <laughs> All right, then. But on a serious note, uh, please, please, please uh, get vaccinated. All right, on to the next stop. Okay, I guess you can guess what my get off the couch is today. You've seen me in this vehicle a couple of times. You might not know exactly what I'm doing, but you know what I'm doing it too. Yep, uh, my son's car again, that one that I am getting ready to sell. This is the last thing I needed to do in, um, in order to um, list it. Um, basically, his side view mirror. Um, broke. Uh, I'm not say broke. He caught it coming out of the garage. <laughs> but anyway, so I have to uh, replace that. And you see, it's not this. I looked at some YouTube videos, and this shouldn't be a too bad of a job. However, um, the replacement mirror, I got it off of um, eBay. And all the YouTubes you watch on replacing the mirror, there's um, because. It's a heated window, and of course, it's electric adjustment, what have you. Of course, there's um, electrical wires going to it. And all the YouTube videos um, that I saw on how to replace it, um, it comes with a cable. Of course, you know, me being the person that I am, I ordered this off of um, eBay. You know, getting off of eBay was roughly like $50 to $60 versus trying to go get one new. Getting one new is um, was around about two or $300. And... So I said, well, hey, it's the right color, what have you, probably got some um, age on it, so it'll blend well with the, um, the car paint, what have you, so uh, I do it. Lo and behold, um, I got it, I found one on eBay, and I did get it, and he sent it to me, but they had snip 
the cable on it. Uh, so now what I have to do, I had to improvise. So what I did, I don't know if you can see this, um, what I did, I attached longer wires to this. It's three wires in there, so I attached some longer wires to this one. So when I take this one off, I'm gonna cut that and attach it to um, this. That should work. <laughs> if it doesn't work, I guess I got to go to the dealership and have to fix it. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go somewhere to have them to fix it. But anyway, I hope not or just sell it as is. That's probably what I do sell it as is. Anyway, the dealer wanted to charge um, to replace this mirror and reinstall it and all that. Of course, that was roughly about seven, eight hundred dollars. So of course, um, if I can do it and it works, I get out of this job with about eighty dollars or so. Of course, I'm gonna tell the son I took it to the dealer. It cost me seven hundred dollars, <laughs> so I can get seven hundred dollars from it. <laughs> Now, I was always told, they say, as your kids get older and you begin to age, your kids will pour back into you. I'm, like, I'm not quite sure that's what they meant, but <laughs> he had, he's not pouring, so I'm going to start taking it. <laughs> so I can't wait until you pour it to me. I'm going to start taking it. <laughs> so, all right. I guess I get at it. We'll see if have I messed things up too bad. And I did mark the wires because they're different colors, so I did mark them so I know which which wire goes where. So theoretically, this should work. <laughs> now I did get a uh, in high school. I did get a uh, I did get a B in physics, so uh, <laughs> so I might know what I'm doing a little bit. But high school was a long time ago. <laughs> All right, then here I go. Okay, that's the cable there. And this is what I am going to uh, cut into. So we'll see how that goes. Well, I wanna see what color the wires are. Just wanna make sure they're the same color as the one they gave me. And I can tell you by just looking at it, it's not. Five wires are going into this mirror. The one that I got from um, eBay only has three. Well, one or two things, I'll sell it with the mirror broke. You know, when they see that, they're gonna wanna take four or five hundred dollars off. Something I was fixing for eighty dollars. All right, I guess um, I got off the couch. Um, I got off the couch too much. <laughs> yeah, I bit off more than I could chew. All right then, on to the next stop. Okay, I took a loss on fixing the side view mirror. Well, I guess it's sometimes it's like um, Kenny Rogers, it's like what he says. Sometimes you have to know when to fold them. And also one of my uh, commenters on the last video <laughs> said that you still working on that car, just put it up for sale, my God. <laughs> so you know what I'm gonna do, I'm going to just, uh, Put it up for sale. I'll take the hit on the uh, side view mirror. So hey, and no, I'm not cooking anything. Um, I'm really frustrated. I, I had to take the L, so I'm just going to chill. I'm going to um, do a K Dorsey along with some buffalo, along with some buffalo trace. So I'm not fixing anything to eat. I'm not fixing anything to drink having a drink though <laughs> but it's going to be neat and for those of you following along I'm actually uh, drinking whiskey neat that's the preferred method if you're a diabetic because it has zero carbs um, and I think zero calories too but you not follow carbs that's my thing so drinking the neat is not a bad thing um, I have my one and a half ounce well one and a half to two ounces so I'm, I'm good so no I'm not fixing anything to eat I'm not fixing anything to drink I'm gonna take this L and just sit out here and um, chill. <laughs> All right. Hey, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.